Hello, my name is Orion from TCG Flight School. We want to invite you to follow along as myself and my trading partner Jordan learn and apply technical analysis on our journey towards profitability. If you'd like to join in on the discussion and learn technical analysis with us, check out our Facebook group, TCG Flight School, for more information and content. We hope you enjoy our daily trade recaps and technical analysis videos. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's get on with the technicals. All right, hey guys. Wow, it has been a long time since I recorded a video. So um, I'm gonna get back into it. I'll tell you a little bit what was going on. Um, I'm, I'm primarily, I really love uh, real estate investment investing. So um, yeah, we finally found a chance so we could uh, unload our condo and take some profits out of that. And me and my family, we decided to, to buy a house and, and move into that. So it's really been time consuming pretty much since April. Um, April, May was, uh, you know, the sale of our condo, um, moving, we've got two kids, finding another place, um, buying it, moving into that, uh, at the same time, you know, got a new career, a uh, new job that uh, kind of limited me from doing, you know, the m regular market hours trading that I, you know, was accustomed to. So I've had to adapt a little. So I now have found a routine and a rhythm and uh, going to get back into some more trading, hopefully to do some swing trades. Um, in other markets and regular, you know, NASDAQ and um, TSXV and CSE and TSX markets. But uh, for the most part, I really love crypto. And through this whole kind of chaos in my life, I was able to make some trades um, in some of these runs through the cryptocurrency market. Um, pardon the crazy angles and support and resistance levels a lot of this stuff might not mean anything to you but you know these are levels that i've been tracking along the way uh, i did miss some really good runs I'm, I'm a bit hesitant to trade off of my phone but i'm learning to adapt and and you know trying to um, you know, chart at night and be able to at least when I see the levels in the daytime, um, you know, hit buy, get into a trade, get a position and trade, you know, kind of from a mobile app. Not a fan of it. I like, I don't know what the, I guess it's not tactile, but I'm, I like the, I like the UI of, you know, two to three screens charting um, and I can kind of have my order window open um, on my desktop or laptop or whatever I'm working on. So a little bit of a learning curve working from the mobile phone, but, you know, I've made a few trades, uh, a few red trades. I've made a few green trades, um, but overall, you know, starting to do pretty good in the crypto space. Um, so just uh, we're watching live right now, ETH, um, uh, into a possible breakout here. Uh, I actually had a small um, Ethereum position last night um, and I charted this channel uh, that I started soft forming coming down and it really was respecting some support and resistance levels along the way uh, last night I had my position and when I saw this resistance level rejected and closed under it and then we started to turn down um, and it also came close into this uh, top line of my trend line um, I was kind of anticipating actually a move down here south so I sold my position uh, it was actually kind of break even small loss um, no big deal. And then I was plotting an entry down here um, around 270, 267. Um, it was actually a little bit lower. I kind of in between these two support levels, I was kind of looking at, this is the one hour chart, and I was kind of looking at a trajectory to kind of fall into this level. Um, I can just take this out of here for now, try and make it a little more clearer. Yeah, and I was I was plotting an entry around here, so I kind of set a little bit of a fishing hook. Uh, went to bed last night, you know, kind of anticipating it to fall, um, and it actually ended up coming down here and kind of making a little bit of a double bottom um, with a little bit of pretty much even lows. This low was a low of uh, two eighty one point two, and this low was a low of two eighty. So a little bit of a lower low um, on this uh, this little touchdown here. But we managed to close up into this over the support level, and it really took off here. Um, you know, this is midnight, one a.m., two a.m., three a.m., and I woke up around six uh, to find it up here, um, kind of creating this little bit of a flag, a uh, little bit of a consolidation period here. So uh, I watched this here in the morning um, and I actually ended up taking a position here on one of these pullbacks. I can't remember the exact one. I have to look back in my order book, but I took a position here um, and we ended up having a little bit of a significant pullback down here. But look, we've managed to hold this support level quite nicely through three tests. And now we're coming up here um, and we're looking to test the resistance of what I have is the previous high of this little bull run um, at 304, 
0.3 and then this next i'm hoping because these two resistance levels are so close this is one that i've kind of plotted out um, that we've kind of rejected off of a few times and broken under and, and had a breakout and a breakdown again another rejection around my trend line so um, 305 and a half is kind of a support level that i'm really watching closely and looking for a run up here to this kind of ne next uh, or sorry resistance level and, and a run up here to this next resistance level of uh, you know 319 320 psychological so kind of anticipating a little bit of a breakout here seeing some nice it was some nice consolidation um and uh, gonna watch it and it's kind of correlating with a few of the other kind of moves here um this one on um bitcoin i'd kind of mapped out a head and shoulders when i mapped out this head and shoulders last night it was up here around this point yeah this is about 1800 um hours and uh you know it came down here Put in a higher low um, in comparison to this one and we actually ended up taking off and it, it's a failed head and shoulders attempt and it broke out of it so uh, generally head and shoulders is a bearish um versal kind of pattern and then we see a breakdown off it but we ended up breaking out to the upside and uh saw a nice move i haven't been trading bitcoin too much it's pretty expensive i can't get a lot of share size on it so i stick to the kind of altcoins ltc eth and I was trading Bitcoin Cash a bit, so um, just gonna watch this for a bit. I've also got uh, my other window up here, um, chatting in uh, Slack chat for the chart guys, um, keeping an eye on what's going on in there. Pretty uh, quiet at the moment. I think a lot of people are watching the action, but I'm really focused here and seeing the kind of movement and volume that's coming in to ETH. So we are looking like. We are leading into this little breakout of this previous high around 304, kind of 0.4, which kind of matches up to these resistance levels here. Um, like I said before, 305 and a half is the one that I really want to break. Um, I, obviously, I can get over this previous high. I think that we will get through it. Again, um, buying a little bit in anticipation. I know Dan, uh, Chartman Dan from the Chart Guys, likes to buy on the confirmation of the breakout. Um, I like to buy in a little bit of anticipation, try and get in a little bit earlier um, with uh, you know a bit of a set risk first reward and my stop loss in place. So my stop loss is obviously this level that we've triple tested here. Um, if we come down here and break this 298, uh, you know the low of this is 298.1, um, I will exit my position. But for now, um, I'm uh, I'm in at 32.5, so you know I'm up a dollar point four on the name. Nothing crazy. But, uh, you know, showing some nice movement, not seeing a ton of bullish volume, but, you know, that can all change really quick. This little quick consolidation pullback here was nice to cool off the RSI a little bit. So if we can kind of pull up and jump, oh, just try and pull this up a little bit better. Um, if we can kind of bump up here into this higher RSI, uh, you know, that will significant uh, signal probably an exit for myself. So, you know, we're climbing up slowly here, 303.9. Uh, and we're looking to test this 304 level, which we're getting closer and closer. My order book over here is showing, um, we got 69 coins sitting at 304. And if we can just consolidate this a little bit, uh, you know, 500 coins are sitting at 305. And that's kind of what I said was like 305, 305 and a half level was a little bit heavier of uh, resistance level. So if we can kind of take some big bites out of these and we see a bit of bullish volume come in, you know, we, we run the course of moving up in towards this kind of psychological 310. So we'll see what happens here and, uh, you know, just having some fun kind of watching it. So I'm just going to turn my mic off for a sec. And uh, we'll just, I'll leave this on and we can kind of watch it together. And uh, yeah, I'll pop it back on and uh, we can see what goes on from there. Just want to mention too that I am on the one hour chart. So I'm looking at this on a little bit of a longer time frame. I did take this position um, from my phone today while at work. Uh, and it's probably why I missed this quick little dump. I didn't have a stop loss set actually. That's you know kind of a bad. Um, that's a bad uh, 
system to have, but I was keeping an eye on it periodically through the day. So, uh, you know, I could queue it up and jump in. When I saw this kind of double bounce off of this support, um, I was feeling very confident that we were going to move again to the upside. So again, we're seeing some nice movement here and seeing a little bit of volume coming in at 303.9. Definitely some people are taking bites out of it, but uh, <clears throat> 44, uh, 304 is still sitting with 44 coins. So we need to break over that 304 level. So again, oh, here we go, 304. And uh, let's see if we can keep this movement to the upside. Um, some of the other names that are also making similar moves, LTC is not. I uh, had a small position in LTC yesterday, I sold it. But Bitcoin is still going to push. All time highs on Bitcoin um, on Coinbase are 44. I have 4428. 4434.42 um, are all time highs on Bitcoin. And we are sitting currently at 4361. So we are just under $100 off right now. Um, and I feel that if we can break through those previous highs to some new all time highs, we're going to see uh, ETH follow it because it really seems to be running. Um, in accordance to it as you can see um, from the two charts so again uh, I'm just going to mute my mic and uh, just keep an eye on this for a bit and let you guys watch and let's see if we can get a breakout and take some profits so we just tested the previous high of 304.39 and uh, we are looking to retest and hopefully break through that 304.39, I'm just watching, uh, I can show you here what I'm watching. I don't have a huge position in this right now. I've got 2.28 coins currently, so nothing huge, about $600, um, nothing massive, but uh, you know, it's fun and uh, it's good trading. So I think when I get back in the swing of things, I'll put a little bit more in to these trades, but for now, um, just, Kind of get my feet wet again and keep moving. So 304.2, uh, definitely showing a little bit of signs of bullish action here. My assumption is that people have made a lot of money on Bitcoin and this is a reasonably priced uh, cryptocurrency and why not trade it? So that's kind of what I'm anticipating people are doing. But you know, it's kind of interesting to me that the two of them are running in sync, um, but I'm no expert here. So testing 304.39 again, uh, looking to break out of that number. We just broke out of that 304.39. So we're seeing 304.95 right now. Um, still watching to make sure we can get over that 305 and a half level. Uh, and then I think we'll see a, a run here. I don't see anybody really talking about it in, in Slack chat. Um, just put a feel out there. 305 we're seeing now. So again, I'm There's a nice, really nice bite out of the 305s. We just saw 1940, 60. We just saw some really nice bullish volume in the 305s uh, pushing this up. You know, we got, let's Take it down to one minute. Uh, saw about 141 coins uh, in a minute, which is some nice liquidity in my opinion. So let's see if we can keep watching. Again, I'm watching on the, one, on the hourly chart. Um, because it's a little bit of a long-term holder for me and hoping 
like to see an exit. Let's see what the RSI is doing here. Five minute. See, we're starting to get it all oversold on the five minute. <clears throat> we need to break up into these 305 and a half levels. Um, and then we can kind of back test, find some support. Uh, and then I'll look probably to exit my position. So I'll be watching. I like to trade off RSI as well. I'll be probably watching RSI in the 70s. Um, there'll be an area where I'd exit. Um, and hopefully that will bust us through. We are seeing some MACD. Nice bullish MACD cross here. Back here just before the breakout. Uh, this is the five minute chart. So we'll watch a little bit longer. The one hour. We're getting tight for our consolidation. So we need to move up 304 and one, two. Looks like we had a little dump here. Just gonna see. It wasn't much, it was only nine coins. The 305s are really getting smacked hard. So there's a hungry little buyer for 305s trying to take down the wall. And it looks like, yep, they bought again. And moving up. Here we go, 305.4, I see 305.9. We are doing a live breakout. Awesome, what a great time to be alive. 306, I am gonna start to, I'm in at 302 and a half. So I'm gonna start to plan my exit here. Uh, it looks like 306 and a half. We're seeing some resistance. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Three oh six. I'm gonna get over to the five minute chart, and I said, "What did I say about seventy? I would pull." Oh, here we go, seventy five. I'm gonna exit my position here 305 See if I can get a fill at 3057. <clears throat> it might pull back here. Oh, 3059. I don't have a big enough position to scale in and out of. So I'd like to just take my profits and wait for a pullback. Place my order real quick here. Actually, I'm pretty happy with it. Still haven't got filled. I'm trying to get filled at 3057. I'm not seeing a fill yet. What I'm looking at here. Got my order in for 3057. Seeing a 305. Oh, looks like I got filled here. That was my order. 2.28090. For some reason, Kraken takes a hell of a long time and doesn't uh, doesn't update properly over here. So. Just checking my. Yep, I got a fill. Okay, so not huge profits or anything. It wasn't crazy. Didn't make a ton of money. Not a gazillionaire. You know, it was, uh, looks like it was about 10 bucks. Just under 10 bucks. 
Should I have held on and waited longer? Probably. Should I have gotten in earlier? Maybe. But at the end of the day, I found a nice breakout, charted it, and went for it. So a little bit longer video today, but uh, I might try and chop it up, and we'll uh, be able to see it. Uh, later. Anyways, okay, that was fun. I'm going to wait for a pullback here and try and make another entry uh, and take some more little profits off the table. Maybe I'll take a little bit of a bigger position uh, this time, seeing as I felt good to get my feet wet with a nice green trade and get back into it. All right, you guys, um, that's all I got for now. And uh, I'll try and make a watch list for NASDAQ and stuff tonight and uh, get that up and, and uh, yeah, see what goes. Get back on the swing of things here. Okay, have a good night.